Welcome back, Overwatch League fans. My name is George, joined by Hex. Once again, a brand new week, a brand new set of games. We have the Hangzhou Spark facing up against the Chengdu Hunters to start us off the week. It's really late, but we're going to get through it. Put on the kettle. Uh, make yourself a pot of coffee. I know I've gone through a couple already today. We'll see if we can get through it. But yeah, I'm actually really excited. The Chinese teams last year broke onto the scene, and I think they exceeded all expectations. The Spark looked really good to end the year. Chengdu was a team that just, I think everyone fell in love with because they do their own thing. They, they uh, go to by the beat of their own drummer, if you will. And so these teams have been playing against each other in our Pacific region and just kind of cannibalizing each other. So each one of these games really matters, trying to get those records up here. And it's also a brand new week for Hero Pools, too. Oh, yes, it is. I think Chengdu Hunters, for me personally, coming into the 2020 season with the hero rotation, I thought, well, you know what? They're probably going to do their best because they play <laughs> their own style and the meta is going to change every week now. So it might as well be their time to shine. Unfortunately, it hasn't looked too hot for them thus far. One and three currently is their scoreline. And going up against Spark 2, they've never actually won against Spark in the history of the Overwatch League. So it's going to be a tough yeah. match out regardless. I believe that one win was against Shanghai, and I think they 3-0'd them or something. It was, uh, I think it was the first week they played. Doesn't really matter here. Uh, uh, so the interesting thing that I want to talk about with Hero Pools, and we're going to get into rosters as well, uh, is Hangzhou ran the exact same lineup last week, every time they played. And most importantly, they ran a Reaper and a Sombra. Can you guess which damage heroes are banned this week? Hmm... It'd be Reaper and Sombra. Is they're it Reaper and Sombra? Yeah. Wow. They're out of the pool. They're drying off. They're just chilling. So now they can't play that. And that means that we're probably going to see a different lineup from this squad. Most importantly, I think, is Bazzi is out of the lineup. He was playing the Sombra for them last week. And Godsby is going to be coming in. He'll be joined by Adora on his team as well. Gushwe, of course, will be playing main tank. Sashin on the off tank. And then the, you know, the, the true lineup uh, in the back line that's been playing for this team for a long time is uh, Bebe and IDK. Well, Wrecking Ball wasn't banned when Chengdu found their first <laughs> win this That's season. Right. And guess who's not banned again is, is Wrecking Ball. So, can Among get to the back line successfully? I've got to be pretty scared if I were him. He's going up against Godsby, who's pretty famous on the McCree yeah. and just a hitscan legend in general. I mean, you kind of know what they're going to play, right? I mean, his Orisa has been pretty good, but Wrecking Ball is really where he strives and where the rest of the team strives too. If you think about how they're scrimming and how this team has been practicing for the longest time, it has been more like dive-centric with a Wrecking Ball or trying something rather off the wall. And like you said, that's one of the reasons why they're your favorite team to watch and why yeah. they've garnered so many fans as well. But it almost becomes predictable what they're actually going to do regardless of it seeming off the wall it's like okay we know Amon's yeah. going to play Wrecking Ball so we can't shut it down with Sombra but there are a few extra heroes that can do the job not as well but uh, close enough well, I mean, they are predictable in as much that Jinmu is probably going to try to run Farah, like, wherever he can. He's been playing the most far in the league for uh, several, several months now. Uh, I th we kind of got a little scouting information on how the scrims were going this week, as far as the meta is concerned. Uh, a lot of Orisa, and usually paired with another shield tank, so Orisa Sigma, Orisa Reinhardt came into prevalence as well. So I think Chengdu may start on that, and then if everything is going poorly because uh, Gushui does have a better Orisa statistically than Amon does, then maybe you try to switch it up a little and, and bring it in. But let's go through the rest of this Chengdu roster. It's going to be Jinmu, of course. Leave, one of the best players uh, who's been playing in this region for a very long time. Amon, Elsa, Kyo, Ivatol. Yeah, they look pretty menacing, or at least trying to at the moment. You know, the big fluffy cuddly pandas, they need a couple of extra wins before they can start uh, biting the limbs off their opponents, I think. Right. Maps coming up, though. Yeah. Nepal is the first one. Control. And we spoke a little bit about this during our rehearsal and during a little bit before the, the games and the show actually started, but Nepal... A little bit more forgiving when it comes to Wrecking Ball, especially when you jump on something like right. Village, uh, Shrine, you were saying as well. You can just kind of spin to win around the pillar, around the central column. Yeah. There's a lot of high ground for you to use. And then if you go to Sanctum as well, there's a massive pit that you can boot people in. Yeah, I mean, all that said with, with the meta talk and everything and, and the scrim talk with the meta is, China's always been a region that does their own thing. As far back as I can remember to the OWPS days, they were playing Doomfist before Doomfist ever got popular. They kind of do their own thing no matter what. Early on here, as we prepare to attack on the very first stage of Nepal, it does seem that we've got some Reinhardts, 
uh, Arissa as well in there. I, I think we're going to see a lot of Batiste, though, from what I've seen, but both these teams running very different lineups. Well, that is why I wanted to see the gods be on the McCree. A teleport forward, though, for the Hunters. Lever's going to change over to the McCree as well. Jinmu and Adora. Yeah, they've got Tracer versus the Mei. So ideally, Hunters here just want to rotate as fast as they can to the point, as they do have double shield too. Adora's going to have a, a very hard time actually getting anything done, although you have to replace the shield with Orisa. It's not as annoying for the Tracer going up against someone like a Sigma, so he can thank his lucky stars for that one. But they are going to change over. Speed boost back to the spawn with IDK, and Adora changed over to the maze. The point unlocks. I do like this from uh, Chengdu, though. They're going to run double shield, but it's not Amon on the Orisa. It's actually the Reinhardt. He's had great success on Reinhardt before. Well, they try to wall off on the tie ground, but beautiful wall actually went through from Jimru on the stairs to stop the rest of the team rushing them. Coalescence comes through. They're going to have to do a little something something here as Hunters have capped the point in time as Leave just gets murdered on point. Godspeed just ran him down. Kushway was not holding shield. He was just WM1 the entire way. Among has Shatter, but he's getting bullied. Chat is the shield. Doesn't quite land on Sashin. I thought it did, and I think he thought it did as well. Elsa ends up falling as Adora finds the kill, and the Hunters will get quickly and cleanly cleaned off the point as Spark ends up finding the cap. Adora had cycled through several different heroes before this fight began, even briefly on the Tracer, but deciding that the right hero pick for this stage in particular on Nepal is going to be the May. You saw how important the walls are, and it, uh, uh, this point is tailor-made around May walls. You block somebody off, even when May wasn't while the May that she is today, even just uh, a little snowflake coming down from the sky, she was always good on this stage. Oh, yes, she was. It was very popular back in uh, Korean Contenders 2018, 2017. What are what? you doing up there, Leaf? You're no HP! Yeah, <laughs> so, it just solo, solo grabs him. Like, why not? You win the fight now, right? Window has been used as well in that very small room. So, yep, that's just a back off from Spark. A bit, a bit of a miscommunication there, it felt like, from the Hunters. Leave off on another planet. And then Keo using the window in that small room, getting no value. I don't dislike solo grabs, but I really don't think that one was necessary. It's a 1v1 <laughs> well, with yeah. Zarya and a McCree at, like, half health. Like, sure, you win the fight, but you'd like to have the grab in this fight. That's a very aggressive flank here from Lee. That's what maybe he was trying to do a little bit earlier on. That Graviton Surge is going to do a whole bunch of work, though. Sashin and the rest of the squad just going to clean everybody up. A lot of ults thrown in there by the Spark. They did use Coalescence, Grav, Shatter, and the Blizzard. Bit of a wholesale of ults being thrown in. But Hunters did the same. They did use the beat in that last fight as well. It does mean Spark going to have that on potentially the last fight. These fights have been going incredibly slow, Hex. Yeah, I mean, I'm just really impressed with Sashin's play. Watching the what he did last week, there were a lot of fights that it seemed like the Spark were completely out of it. And then he comes in with like three kills on his Zarya. It's been a very good hero for him. That was almost disaster. He almost got uh, trapped off on the side. There's the Blizzard on the point. Gushway's dead. That's a nice little freeze onto Bebe as well. Godzi's gonna say sayonara to the rest of his team. Easy sweep for the Hunters. Only using the Blizzard in that fight. Not too bad at all. May, a very good hero, apparently. <laughs> Who'd have thought, huh? You can create terrain and you can freeze everybody as well and almost insta-freeze them if you hold left click too. Changes incoming on her, but we are not on that patch just yet. So the Thermo Blaster, whatever it's called, little freeze ray, is uh, still has 200 ammo on this patch. Oh, um, hi, Nate. And what's Feels going to go down? They're going to have to kill it first, though. Godspeed with a two-piece. Thank you very much. LC and Q's heads rip clean off. There's the beat as well. Last fight for the Spark as they do run towards the point. No one from Hunters now contesting, but 5% away from claiming Village. They do have Yveltal in the back line. He's going to find the touch, causing overtime to tick. There's the flashbang, there's the kill for Godsby, and the war to wall everybody off as well. No way they're going to be able to get back in time. Elsa on the Wrecking Ball to try and touch, but it was not enough, and Village will go over to Spark. Very nice play there from the Spark, and this always worries me about the Hunters is that they change up so much and that there's always a different hero on the field. And this comes even early on of maybe Season 2 of the Overwatch League where they play chaotic and sometimes when it works it looks really cool, but sometimes it's like, why aren't you coordinating ultimates better? Where are you using ultimates in situations? Maybe got a little bit of the better of them there. We'll see if they want to roll out these same compositions as Sanctum is a bit of the outlier map when it comes to Nepal. Plays a little differently than the other two. Of course, both of these Symmetras are just for the teleporter to get the mid fight quicker. Yep. Bada bing, bada boom. 
Got to be actually on the hands out. There we go. Yeah. So it's going to be a match. Uh, 6v6, obviously. I don't know why I said that. Of course it's 6v6. <laughs> <laughs> I meant the same heroes versus the same heroes. Sex. In six on both sides. Like, you're, yeah, you're oh, funny that, correct. right? It's the best kind wow, of I've been, I think I've been playing the wrong game all these years, to be honest <laughs> with you. A nice headshot early on. It's not going to account too much as both teams just trying to feel each other out. Crack shields here. Try to Ooh. get halts. That was close. It's going to be okay. He got discorded. Oh. God's been a little bit of trouble there as well. Point has unlocked, mind you. The rest of the hunters, in fact, splitting up here. You can see Elsa on the sidelines. Yeah, Godsby definitely not expecting that. Jimmy's going to be with him as well. Elsa does get walled off. That's a bit of a Tetris formation there. Not entirely sure where Jimmu thought he was, and uh, I don't think he knew either, to be honest with you. Now he's just hiding in the corner. Almost has Blizzard available as well. As Sarsin does end up going down, but Adora does trade the kill. Good thing having your May alive on the point. She's going to be able to survive for a, a whole heap of time as Among does end up going down. And now Spark making themselves a little bit more known. Leave is going to punish Bebe for being a little bit too aggressive there, but the point will end up getting capped by Spark. Yeah, Amen was out in no man's land with about 10 health left. He was going to get cleaned up there, and Bebe will oblige him on his way out. Two support ultimates about up for the Hangzhou Spark. Meanwhile, the Chengdu Hunter support line lagging behind a little bit. But the DPS a little bit ahead in their ults for Chengdu as well. Maybe he can get to Blizzard a little bit faster, try to open this one up. Yeah, Jimmy has got that Blizzard, like you're just saying. They're going to push rather aggressively. Their shield's going to melt. You see that? Leave just uh, firing a couple of Storm Arrows in it. A couple extra arrows. It instantly goes down. Jimmy's actually on the point alone. No one contesting him currently. There we go, finally. Are they going to get the free cap? Nope, but the Blizzard's going to get eaten. That's disastrous. Hunters now have to play around what? A Transcendence, maybe? Here comes the Blizzard from Adora, forcing everybody from the Hunters away. They're going to claim so much space and time here now. Gushui has got that supercharger coming online, but he's not going to need it. That should just be it for this fight. The one ult that they needed and the ult advantage that they had as well just got eaten. That's what you like to see from your Sigma player. That blizzard could not have been more telegraphed if it was written in Morse code. That was so easy to spot out. Gets eaten up immediately. It's such an important ultimate on, on control maps to just toss it in there like that. And again, I mean, it's... When it doesn't work for the Hunters, when individuals aren't making enormous plays, it looks really sloppy. Now what are they really going to do here? I mean, they got a lot of ults, but with the Spark playing so split here, it's going to be fairly hard to pick anybody off. Very optimistic Dragon Strike through the sides. Gosby's going to send his out as well. A little bit more uh, path. That was a beautiful hole. Amon almost falls into the pit and he gets dragged back into the Dragons. Oh! He couldn't play Overwatch for a good 10 seconds there. Unfortunate. Now Spark going to use that Supercharger. Increased damage now as the Hunters try and flood onto the point. 4% away. Someone's going to need to touch, but Sashin is going to open things up with the Flux. Pushing everybody away. And the Spark are going to claim the first map in the series. I really think it's going to come down to this Orisa fight back and forth between the two. Like I said, Gushui just outclasses Amon in almost every statistical category. Supercharger assists. Amon has like zero on the year. His ultimate use is not good. He doesn't really get kills on it. And we talked about this a little bit in rehearsal, Jack, that I think they're going to try to play this meta. But I think the moment that Amon's Orisa starts getting exposed, which I think we started to see the cracks a little bit there, you might just have to go back and just... Do what Chengdu does. Go ball. <laughs> just play the ball. Like you said, statistically just getting demolished right now by the front line of the Spark. We're going to jump to a quick break though, guys. Do not go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Pringles Wavy. Big crunch, big flavor. And by Zip Chair Game, the official chair supplier of the Overwatch League.
Coca-Cola is the official... Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Spark facing up against the... For the Spark, 2-0 on the poor, just like the price of wine gums in the US. $7, like, you can get them for like a pound down the co-op, mate. What are you doing? Anyway, we're going to jump onto Hollywood. <laughs> hey, I didn't man. understand most of those words, but that's anything <laughs> new for me. Wine gums, get them down <laughs> co-op, man. It's all right, mate. You'll visit the UK one day, you'll understand. You'll get all the lingo. I was in London once. It was all right. I, I okay. like Spoons. Spoons was cool. Spoons is nice. They were on every corner. Actually, where I grew up, funnily enough, <laughs> I grew up in a port city, funnily enough, because it's called Portsmouth, and there's literally a pub on every every corner it is crazy and yeah. then most of them are spoons surprisingly yeah i mean i'm from the midwest so it's just about the same thing there if there's a stoplight yeah. in the town there's at least three three pubs <laughs> yeah <laughs> well let's get back to hollywood well get on to hollywood that is spark well like we said before eh, kind of destroying them statistically right now hunter's not looking so great whatsoever and it was kind of hard as soon as you Forgo and throw your blizzard into uh, into the E. It's kind of difficult to regain control against May, such a strong character at controlling the points. And then yeah. you have the, the Spark who were just splitting up their damage. They had one person on one side with one tank, another DPS on the other side with the other tank. And it's just so hard to kind of pinpoint where you want to pressure. And then you have May contesting the point as well. Hollywood's going to be a different story, of course, different map architecture. And we will have Spark on the attack first. Yeah, and the uh, Hangzhou Spark actually have the second fastest time on Hollywood ever at 4 minutes and 20 seconds <laughs> uh, against Washington in 2019. So obviously it's, it's a map that they're very familiar with. Not a ton of changes on this Spark roster too, so this is pretty much the same squad that almost set that record. Well, this is what we wanted to see actually what, what you were saying in the, in the pregame. Get me some far. Far's not bad at all on this map. It's a little bit more difficult to uh, kind of get an angle if the far is playing fairly defensively. Obviously, Godspe is definitely the one person you want on the hit scan to take out that far. He's actually going to start on the Widowmaker. Probably just a peek out. I can't imagine he's actually going to keep it. His McCree was rather famous here. I must say so. Uh, his, his Widow is pretty good as well. Oh, yes. Nope, does look like... Yeah, he's just checking security. Changing over to the Cree. They know there's a Widow. So, no, he's at, uh, he know, there's, no there's a Farah. But, no, God's be actually, actually going to stay on the Widowmaker. A little less consistent damage in the front line. But that's what you have a Dora to really uh, turn the backs of everybody. Double Shield is so punishing for the Widow. Yeah, this is mostly just trying to deal with the Fur Mercy. He's just trying to get shots in now that the angle is denied. But you can get a nice grapple shot here. And you really want that Ooh. first damage. But, ooh, Adora, gone. Yep. That's one rocket. That's one kill. Easy as that. Now, Jimmy, like I said, can just hold so defensively here. You can obviously grapple above security uh, with Widowmaker. You can use the tree or you can use the just the white building above it to get a nice grapple shot. But because uh, Jimmy is playing so close to those big double doors, it's going to be impossible for Godspeed to actually do anything. He's waiting for Spark to enter the point so the shields get rotated and he has a good sideline. Yeah, using this architecture, this is always where you see Martin Holland when he gets Bebe on the entrance. This That's is just tough. disastrous. This is it. I mean, you can't really do much from it. IDK is going to maybe escort people out. In fact, Lee ends up going down for some reason. And now Sashin and uh, Gushwe are going to be trapped in there, but Mora is going to come back rather quick sharp, although Jinmu is paying him a brief visit as he did take out Godsby as well. But they're actually trading one for one here. Make that two for one as they end up going down as well. Yeah, Jinmu left to go try to camp the spawn and to make sure that he was able to deny the Moira on the entrance there, but it's the tank line for Hangzhou who just kind of picking up a lot of the kills. This one's getting super scrappy, but it happened last week for Hangzhou as well when the fight looked over. Sashin comes into these giant plays on Zarya. A big kill on Yuveltor uh, on Yuveltor there by Adora. Now Jimmu has to be a little bit more scared, and Adora takes out the duo in the skies and Among on the ball. Where is he? Well, he's in Spark Spawn. He's going to be able to get back to the point rather quickly, but he's just trying to deal with Godsby, who's got the perma pocket from Bebe. And that'll be IDK picking up a couple of kills of his own. Nice little melee to finish off Elsa. And there's the point unlocked. Four minutes now to move through the second stage. 
IDK is one of my favorite Lucios in the, the league because he seems like he has both styles. You have kind of a defensive Lucios who play with their team and are always in the right spot, always good at peeling. You have really aggressive Lucios, like FD God comes to mind uh, off the top of my head, funny Astro. And then I think IDK has just got both of those in his kit. And he can hit the switch any time where he's like, okay, I'm done defending, goes after it and ends up getting kills. I think he's a top five Lucio and I don't really think there's much of an argument about it. There's zero argument for me. Zero. I mean, my Lucio is terrible, so I have a, a, just a terrible judge of that, to be honest with you. Gosby with a beautiful little kill onto Lee. Nice little headshot as well, actually forcing Jinmu all the way back once again. A lot of ults for Sparks, they do move through this second stage. Javelto does end up going down as well, so can't even use that Valkyrie to assist his team. This car is basically moving for free right now. They have to do something, and they do do, do just that to bring Godsby up, but the beat is going to save him for the time being, as well as that uh, Coalescence just ripping through the front line. Amon's going to go down to a swift headshot from Godsby. Adora does fall, but Gosby's still alive, and he's the one you want to keep up and well. The car is still moving. Hunters have to touch, <laughs> but look at that. A grab off the point. Thank you very much. Sashin does all the heavy lifting there at the end, forcing Hunters to do something, and they get grabbed off the point. Uh, the grab up top. You want to live that high life? Live it up there. S sit in your penthouse while we just push this cart all the way through. It is pin all spark. I mean, uh, it was a little brawly on the first point, but since then they've been rather unopposed. And yeah, now this it, it forces Chengdu to get off the far. You can't run the far at this point. I mean, you can, but it I would mean, be a throw. It would be can, a yes. throw pick. It would be a Josh Sideshow Overwatch throw pick. Sideshow Gaming, I should say. Sorry. Sorry, Josh. Baby and Gucci end up going down. Rather quick cleanup here. Now, the problem is for uh, the, the Spark. Adora's going to have the worst time imaginable trying to actually kill anybody here. If I'll tell go, like, who's he actually going to pick off realistically? He's going to get one shot as well by Jinmu if he's not careful. I say that, and uh, he ends up finding a kill. Although it does look like we're going to jump into a brief pause. Yeah. Well... Yeah, you, it's that's kind of your fault there. You killed Elsa. Oh, that's, yeah. that's the caster curse for sure. <laughs> uh, Leave has been the bright spot for this Chengdu team on on the uh, Tracer, at the very least, with four final blows. Uh, I mean, you just don't really want to give up second as quickly as Chengdu did. Second's a pretty decent spot to hold. Defenders-wise, you have the high ground, you've got the far, you've got rooftops to play with. But just Hangzhou didn't have to really commit a whole lot to that very first fight. So you saw it there. They were able to grab, and now we're out of pause right back in it. Leave all the poles. He's good. But the poles wasn't that great. Not gonna lie. Right. Amon is now switching over to the Reinhardt. Wants to be a little bit more mobile. They've only got that Coalescence ready to back them up. The car hasn't really stopped moving whatsoever. Hunter's refusing to contest at this point. Nice little flashbang kill onto Leave as well. You can hear that music right there. Payload is almost delivered to that third point. Coalescence is being used by the Hunters to try and feign off the aggression of the spark, but Elsa gets caught out in no man's land in a different strat. Like, wh where is he? There's no way near, he, he was nowhere near Among, and now Among is going to get taken out on the sidelines as well. Just a roll from the spark. This is really about it. The cheeky <laughs> reload from the ult from Godsby. He didn't need the ult. He doesn't really mind all too much. That time bank's looking pretty healthy as well. Two minutes and 46 seconds, Hex. What is going on? I mean, it's it's a lot of what we saw on the control map as well. The tank players for the Hangzhou Spark are simply outclassing the tank players for the Chengdu Hunters. I mean, Gushui and Sashin, they kind of brought back the very first take on Hollywood first for this squad. And since then, it just seems like Amon and Elsa don't know where to be to help each other, and it's making the support life hard. And a lot of that in the very first time, too, is like, you know, you've only really got one support for both the tanks because Evil Tall is generally going to be in the pocket of Jinmu up top. But this is kind of what I anticipated. If Chengdu plays the style of another team, it doesn't really work out for them. And so far, I mean, Amon is on the Reinhardt there, it forces Elsa onto the Orisa. Neither looked great. And, yeah, I don't know. A at what point, if you're Chengdu, do you just just let it let it go, try something different? Just just let it go. Let it go. Well, I mean, Elsa is in the server. Yeah, I was, <laughs> well, I, you know, I wasn't going to go there, but you definitely did take it there. You know, I've never actually seen Frozen. I think I've seen only half the film on a, uh, on a flight once. That was about it. <laughs> Apologies to any uh, Frozen fans in the chat. Yeah, Unlucky leave. It's a nice shot, but that's one of Leaves' six deaths. 
He leads the server in deaths. Not exactly the stat you want to be the top one on. He's got six. A couple other people on his team have four, but Leave didn't get a whole lot done that round. He, there were some moments he had on Tracer where he was the only one getting anything done, but it, it comes to a point where if you're the only one getting something done, then you put yourself in bad situations because you feel you have to carry, and then maybe that's what happened to Leave there. Hangzhou with that another blistering time here. We talked about how they have the second fastest record on this offense. Well, now they're going to go for the same sort of thing that they went with on the offense, on the defense, sorry. Apart from they do have a Baptista to back up the tanks. A little bit extra healing. Does it like Hangzhou spot? Yeah, they don't want to hold high ground. You don't really want to get booped off at any one point. So it's kind of a smart decision to roll around at the back. Give them a little bit of space, but it also opens up Godspeed to take a lot of shots here at the uh, Far and Mercy combo. Uh-oh, well, that's not a good start at all. And now you have basically no healers, but Godspeed is going to go down. So that's actually not the worst trade in the world, considering how fast you're going to be able to get back. And Sashin will also end up falling. So now the Chengdu Hunters can really pile on the pressure. Those dumpsters aren't going to fare well against all these rockets <laughs> and Jim Moo flying straight towards them. Maybe they didn't really stand a chance and neither do the rest of the spark. Leave losing the 1v1 to the support. Immortality field. Oh, it feels so good to be a Baptiste. Not until you just get dunked on by a tank, though. That's a bit unfortunate. He almost won the 1v1. Look, but Hunter's having great. a really good start. You didn't have to call them dumpsters, though. That seemed a little out of line, Jack. <laughs> Find. Find. <laughs> Find and banned on your main account. Unfortunate. Well, what I mean, know? now they're in, they're in a good spot. Type it in all chat. Fair Mercy in in the West World can be really good. Automatic high ground control and hung, with without you know Diva in the pool right now, there's no one to really send up here to harass. I, that's why I thought that maybe Jinmu can get a lot done because, yeah, I mean Hitscan counters this, but look at this cheeky wall rotation. Police, police kill Jinmu. He was thank you. He was <laughs> he was next to the spark. Like get there res? were four people from this, and he gets the res. All right, well, he's dead again. Okay, well, there it is. Uh, May just wars him off and he didn't stand a chance. Nice little uh, blizzard. Ordora has earned himself with that headshot. They're going to be able to control the payload rather easily at this point. Jimmy's going to have a lot, a lot harder of a time now to actually get back into this fight. I said, oh, attempted drag off there. Also almost uh, found himself on the floor. God's be, no, same thing. Just kind of stayed on the high ground. And there you go. Jimmy actually switching off the far now. He's going to go to the May of his own. Is going to wall himself up, and they're going to just take the fight on the roofs, but it does mean that Payload Hex is going to get a lot of free time in. Yep, just Dragon comes through, tries to clear off that opposing rooftop. Hangzhou do have a, a defensive transcendence here. Maybe try to use it against this Flux, because Elsa's looking for targets. I think he's attempting to. There you go, Spark of Touch the payload, that's the main plan. There's the Flux, up in the air goes Gooshway. Transcendence being used there, but he's going to get healed on up, and Godsby finds a kill. That's so Hushin will it also yourself. end up taking out Yvatol. Yep, no way you're going to be able to fight this one at this point. It's just all about the cleanup now, a little bit of extra ult charge for Bebe and Adora. That's almost uh, a blizzard for Jim Moose. 50% then. He's got a little bit of way to go. Shouldn't be too hard. A couple of headshots will do it. But they're running into Spark with almost a six stack of ults as they do all share the lift. Yeah, this is what you want to do um, on West Rail when you, when you have the time like this. is just take away the high ground, sitting behind two shields. The long distance oh, rock. Oh, that hit three connects. people. <laughs> oh, my word. Oh, that was a great animation. <laughs> I don't think I've seen so many people hit by a rock before. All right, lift up again. And a wall for the lazy. That's a big flux. That, oh dear, in the block, there's the dead eye. Oh, hook, light, and sinker. Thank you for the kills, just padding the stats. Leave just gets owned from afar. Nice hold from combo. Spark. I love the sky noon combo. Lift him up, noon. shoot him down. Such good play. And there's not a ton to do about it. I mean, there's just you just get fluxed and you get shot down. <laughs> yeah. What are you gonna well, that's do? That's it. There you go. Look <laughs> at this. Unreal tech. Oh, One, no. halt, two, two, three. Boom. Bye bye. Oh, it was so good. That would have been a third two if Jim Moo didn't go into block. You got to give him to it, mate. Come on. Yeah, I want to get a better oh, highlight reel. Yeah, the halt is really sets that all up too. I mean, it's it's a mini alt. Oh, that's the dragons. That's a beautiful. Oh no, Godspeed fell off. 
Oh, Immortality Field didn't quite save him. Nice double kill for the Zen. Ground Zenyata, just 1v6ing right now, but no, there we go. Hunter's finally getting the payload moving. Jimmu's gonna have this Blizzard too as well, but the Spark should be able to make it back in time. A couple of people didn't end up going down and they got a Blizzard of their own. I'm just looking at this Hunter support line. They've got a couple other different players who played last week, so I'm just wondering if everyone's really on their best hero right now. Evil Toll, you generally think of as a main support, but Zen look good there. Pretty good, clicking heads, not too bad at all. Leave going a little bit low, has to take out Godsby, or at least uh, one support to make this viable at this point. Jimmu, five cent away from his blizzard. He's gonna be running into a door though. Banned Immortality Field has already gone down for Spark, so this is the perfect time. He jumps right in, gets the freeze potentially, but no, a counter freeze. Jimmu and Adora laying the freezes up. Everybody's gonna be frozen, stuck, but Jimmu ends up going down. Gushway's gonna be able to put himself on the payload now to stop it from moving, and 40 seconds remain for the Hunters to try and make this work. Leave falling and Immortality going down as well as Kyo. That should just be it for the time being. You have to die now, Among. although it's just going to be all over. 30 seconds remaining and one push for the Hunters to try and make it to second. Uh, and three ultimates here too for the Hunters compared to Sparks, absolutely nothing. Well, there is a flux, so maybe Sashin can get there and pull them out of position, get them off of the point. It's not about kills, it's about getting the objective. 15 seconds left. Flux, Supercharger, Evil Tall. Amon's gonna have to have a better Supercharger than he's had, well, all season so far. Um, Someone has to touch. Episode. Someone has to touch. Where's Lucio when you need him? <gasps> he's using the Transcendence. He has to try and touch. Oh, he gets fluxed. Oh, it's disaster for the Hunters. The perfectly timed Flux and the wall to stop them touching the payload and spark with a speed run yet again. 2-0 in the series already. Yeah, it's an objective-based game, and H Hangzhou understands that. They did it on uh, their offense on first point with the grav holding people on the rooftop so they could push, and they do it again with their flux to keep them off of the point. Hangzhou are looking very strong in every aspect of this, and just, God, this beautiful setup. Halt, flux, Deadeye, you love to see it. Just more of that, please. Well, maybe not for the Hunters. They're definitely not wishing that. I can tell you that right now. What do they got to do, really? That's the big question. I think we're going to jump to a quick break, though, guys. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with the third map of the series. The Overwatch League is brought to you by T-Mobile. Rank up with America's first and only nationwide 5G network. And by State Farm. For auto, home, or renter's insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.
against the Hunters. Mat number three coming up soon. Spark doing a little bit of a speed run. Hex, yeah. where are we at? Well, I mean, what are we in the the uh, the game break she's presented groove, by Cheese at Groove? Cheese at Groove game break. Um, yeah, <laughs> I kind of gotten tired of that. And it's, uh, it's been pretty one-sided. It's not not really a ton to say about it, really. This this Hangzhou Spark team, they played really well in last week's meta, and now you know with Bazzi on the bench because Sombra is unable to be played. Gosby has come in, and I think I had Gosby as my rookie of the year for season two. Didn't quite play out that way because of the meta, but he's such a such an ace on on the damage heroes here. Now let's switch it up a little bit, Jack. So what is what is the it's crunch time? What what do the hunters have to do to get back into this one, in your opinion? <laughs> well play their own thing. But the problem is uh, I just don't see them really beating them out, uh, beating the Spark out in the 1v1s. I mean, we're having a little bit of Farah, Mercy, Amongst played the Reckon Ball just a little bit, but going on just the double shield, it just so much relies on your DPS actually finding picks and your yeah. um, Orisa and Sigma just working in tandem with each other. I just don't really feel like it's all there. I think the Spark just a, a little bit more of a well-oiled machine when it comes down to it. And their DPS are just, they're just popping more. They're just doing more damage. They're fragging a lot more too. I don't think these picks that the Hunters are actually um, picking up, like the Farah, are really going to do... Uh, a whole lot against someone like Godsby, who's a bit of a superstar <laughs> to his gambler. He's pretty good. Uh, he can definitely click the heads. I, I think you mentioned in the pregame that maybe the Hunters have become uh, predictable in their unpredictability. You know that Jinmu is going to try to run the Farah, and I think what that allows is teams are just trying to go after the tank line until the tank line can respond and try to beat them. They're just really trying to isolate and go after the Chengdu uh, front line. And Chengdu is kind of isolating themselves, a uh, little social distancing from the tanks. They're trying to be away from the rest of their team and they're getting cleaned up on it. This one, I mean, I don't see a world in which Chengdu comes back and wins this series, to be honest. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Like you said, the, one of the big things that you could do against the far, if you know Jimmy's going to play it, roll over the tanks, and then the far doesn't really have anything to really do. There's not really much you can do when the tanks aren't also create, getting the space that you're creating on the far. We're going to jump to a quick break, though, guys. Do not go anywhere. Map number three, coming up soon. The Overwatch League is brought to you by Cheez-It Groups. Deep flavor, deep crunch. It's a mind crunch.
The Overwatch League is brought to you by HyperX. Unleash your style, unleash your fury. With HyperX Fury Memory. And by Coca-Cola, the official refreshment of the Overwatch League. What up, fam lambs? We are back. Map number three <laughs> coming up soon. Hunters facing up against the Spark. That's getting late, Hex. I thought I'd bring out the old school, the old school introductions. Used to do these back in the back in the UK all the time. The one AM casts yeah. feels like I'm re reliving the whole experience all over again. It's feeling oh, good. it's it's about five hours past my bedtime. I'm just glad you didn't open uh, uh, open up with uh, hello, all my uh, cool cats, cool cats and kittens. I believe it's saying <laughs> cool cats and kittens. Oh, you haven't seen it yet. All right, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. It is a phrase that will drive people nuts who know what I'm talking about. But that is neither here nor there. <laughs> right now, we've got a match that Hangzhou Spark is up 2 0 on the Chengdu Hunters. Chengdu riding a losing streak right now, unfortunately, as we enter into Hanamura. Now, Hanamura, I've always said this about it, it's a very difficult map to complete. In fact, the average score on Hanamura so far this season 1.6 points. So mostly not completing this map, but it's the lowest scoring assault map in the 2020 Overwatch League season. Oh, it's because there's so much stall. Do you remember Six Divas stall? Yeah, it's the pinball people, machine. People rolling just, out on yeah, Diva. You, keep, you shoot one ball in and then they die, and another oh, ball man. in and then they die. Yeah. Oh, I remember the old, times. old days of, of Overwatch. I remember No mm. Hero Limit. I tried to block it out. Shit. My therapist says hey. I should move on, but I can't <laughs> let it go. I, I was perusing. Perusing would be a good word. Uh, perusing the <laughs> subreddit the other day, the competitive Overwatch subreddit, and uh, one of the one of the new posts was this guy saying, "Oh, hey guys, like I, I've uh, come back to Overwatch at a, at a small break. I think he put small, some some very uh, minute amount of time, and uh, he said, "Oh yeah, I saw there's a, a hero limit now, and I'm like, you have been out." Where have you been? <laughs> that has not been a small amount of time. A hero limit? Yes, there is a hero limit. Wouldn't there is no more double Lucio. Wouldn't a minute amount of time be a minute? I mean, they're spelled the same. Ma Are they? <laughs> it's, I guess okay, it's too late. <laughs> I got a D in English. I am 99% sure my Korean spelling is better than my English spelling. Yeah, I have only likely. just learned how to spell quarantine because <laughs> I've had to type it so much. Well, enough about that. Spark are on the offense. Chengdu Hunters are on the defense. My goodness, I should not have said that on broadcast. Now everybody knows I'm a fool. Well, right, Godspeed so is going to teleport out or attempt to teleport out with the uh, Symmetra, but it looks like they're going for a complete comp swap. Yeah, they're going to take a look at it and, and see what Chengdu had. And then if, if they felt comfortable with it, they were just going to put as much beef on the point as possible and just teleport in with double main tank. A full switch up here, though, as Godsby knows that he has to deal with Jinmu. Shouldn't be a Ooh. surprise. Leave out the 76 is interesting. Actually, I think Chengdu ran a little bit of 76 last week. They were one of the only teams in the region to do it. Setting up a big crossfire here, it's going to be hard for Godsby to actually redo really anything. I mean, he can shoot away at the lever on the high ground, or he's going to leave Jinmu. Oh my goodness, Jinmu almost instantly died. Uh-oh. Oh, he missed his flash. Run. Lever's already got two kills, though. Sashin and Bebe do end up going down. He's going to sprint away using the best ability in the game, legs. He's going to be able to get onto the high ground rather rapidly as well. And this is going to be the big issue here for Godsby. He's going to have to deal with both Jinmu and Lee, who are holding opposite ends of the map currently. Already a minute burnt away in the time back as well. Adora trying to find a bit of space here, Hex, but it's going to be tough. Yeah, I mean, well, I think they're going to try to run with this again. Adora's doing a good job of just trying to get on the point, at least pull them back and draw attention a little bit so Gatsby can try to find an angle here. But yeah, it's, God, Hanamar is so tough to break through on these. Already? And that's, that's again, Another maybe pick off. picked off first. Yeah, a bit disastrous. You might as well go again at this point. There you go, yeah. Everybody running away, using that speed boost to get out of there. But now they're running into ult. So obviously the defending team will normally have ult advantage a little bit before because they're doing so much incoming damage. And as an offensive team, you have to put yourself in a bit more of a dangerous position to actually to get ult charged. Jinmu has barrage, leave, just smacks Adora down. 
Another big stagger. Hunter's really coming alive, actually, in the second half of the series. Yeah, it's looking good for them so far, but it is defense on Hanamura, so that's ge just generally yeah. an advantage no matter what. You're playing defense on Hanamura. This barrage ready to go, and if I'm Jinmu, I just unbind Q right now. You're doing so much work without it that a barrage is often just going to lead to a death, and that might make Evil Tall try to go res him. Not a great idea. So, eh. Another entry. That's There's the bad. barrage straight on top of the Amatai field. I don't hate it. Didn't get any kills, though. It did a little bit of damage and actually split one person off. I believe that's actually got to be in the back line. Not really where you want to be. Yeah, it is. So he's going to be stuck there for a little while, I can imagine. Adora still doing a lot of damage to Jinmu. He's trying to just run away and just poke and prod at him at the time just to make sure Yveltal has to stick on top of him. There's going to be a self... Oh, uh, Pulse Bomb almost connecting. Levi's got that visor. Might want to combo it with the uh, Supercharger, but it doesn't look like he needed to. A lot of damage heading towards Gushwe and Bebe. They end up going down. Jimmy with a double damage boost straight on top of Spark. And now only a minute remaining, Hex. Spark are in a very sore situation. Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of gatekeeping, and Jinmu is just not letting Gosby play the game. He's going to play in these team fights, and then he keeps looking back. Gosby has barely been able to get through the doorway this entire matchup. He's just getting rocket spammed out. Maybe Deadeye changes that. You hope so, if you're a Spark fan right now. There's the Deadeye. He's going to get lifted up into the skies. That's a bad place to be! Oh, Elsa, you just contributed to your own death. That's basically him suiding. At that, at that point. Resurrection, though. Amung is going to go down, which is going to be a problem. Now, this is going to have to be the one-two touch. Spark now on the point. One tick, make it two. 18 seconds remaining as a Graviton Surge has been built up by Sashin. Now, we see Hunters just struggling to try and buy him for space and time. Gosby does end up falling, but still two ticks have been acquired, and another healer ends up going down for the Hunters. Amung is on the ball, but needs to find the boops. Now, Spark in OT are going to lose another person, but they should be able to cap as they say that Amung does manage to get back in time. Mortality Field is going to come out and save him for the moment, but the Coalescence and the rest of the damage end up coming up big, and Spark eventually end up capping. Three minutes now in the time bank, two attack second. I mean, you look at this Hangzhou team and you think of all the playmakers they have, but in my opinion, it's still just Sashin. He's able to get all the cleanup there on the Zarya, and the great thing is he's so patient. He had Grav the entire fight and never used it, even though it would just lock down the fight immediately. Maybe could have even grabbed the Mercy at one point in time when she got close to the architecture, but now they have a reasonable expectation to be able to push in with Grav, and Chengdu has switched several things, so... I mean, this doesn't look like it's great because there's only one alt up, but Hangzhou have the advantage, surprisingly. Adora and Jimmu on the maze now. There's the grab straight on the mall. Oh, Kyo just instantly evaporated. Oh, my goodness. And there go the rest of the team. The big shadow on the grab. You love to see it. There you go. On the point are the rest of the spark. Two ticks. And that is a dead Lucio. Only Leaf can really touch, and they don't. And there's the stats, looking strong. You said a point and a bit was the average currently. Spark getting two and two minutes in the time bank as well. Looking pretty good after what could have been a very disastrous round one. Yeah, I mean, Hangzhou last year when we were in the GOATS meta, I believe it was Godsby playing the Zarya for most of the time, and he had good games and he had disappearing acts, but right now the Zarya play that they're getting on Asashin has been great at watching their games from last week as well. He's just always there, he's doing damage, he's so patient, and that grab won them second point, because Chengdu had to expel everything they had to try to hold onto the point, and then they had to make a huge swap, because you really can't run that composition on second, and Hangzhou knows that, they go in, and and, you know, let's use the one check mark we have. They get the clean up there. Gushwe swings away. And even though it took them a long time to break through first, they finally crack it open and just roll through second. And in my opinion, second is the much harder point to take. Oh, yeah, easily. Easily. Well, now Chengdu Hunters have to one-up them. Otherwise, it will just be a uh, clean 3-0 in the series. Two minutes is a fairly respectable time back. Like you said, it's kind of hard to crack that second point. But a rather rapid Graviton Surge. I mean, that's what you ideally want to do, right? Stop the Hunters from setting up. You instantly right. grab them. It stops them really doing much. And then you just kind of roll over from there, chuck all ults in. Well, I mean, this Jimmy's is going to come out far. If Chengdu doesn't get both points, which would exceed the average of the league, that's it. That's a 3-0. Done and dusted. Okay, swaps. What are they going for? Jimmy? He needs to decide. Oh, Doomfist. 
There are some sick rollouts. I don't know. I don't need to tell you how much time I've spent with Doomfist rollouts on this map. It's I, ridiculous. I would over wager the last few too weeks. much. Too much oh, really? time has been spent. I got hey. a lot of time, mate. I'm in quarantine. Uh, the important thing is uh, that we have a Genji on the field. Oh, and he died! Oh! <laughs> I was like, I cannot wait for these rollouts, man. These are going to be so sick. And he just roll. He just rolls out into a flashbang. Oh, God's me. No, he's good. Lee almost killed him, but he's uh, fine for the time being. <laughs> Look at his composition, though. Only the Hunters. Doomfist, Genji, Ball, Winston, Super Moira, Dive, Lucio. <laughs> I mean, but there's there's good tools for Hangzhou to be able to deal with this, essentially. I mean, you've got Flashbang. Mei is just good anti-dive anyway. She turns herself into an ice cube. But three minutes to go. We'll see if they can build up ultimates. I mean, Genji's not all that great without his ultimate, and he's not going to get nanoed here either. So a lot on Leave's shoulders to try to make this Genji work. Not been a oh. ton of great Genji plays so far this year. Hmm. There is a rollout you can do on that roof, by the way, where Jimmu was. Not sure if he's actually going to do it. He's on the roof right now. I can see the pilots coming in. Bebe and Leave do end up trading. That is actually extremely good for the Hunters, as one healer is now down. They have to rely on the Lucio. Oh, so just gets annihilated in that corridor. Aimwing's going to get frozen as well. Oh, that flashbang was so good. But Godsby, he's just doing Godsby things. A cleanup onto two, the high noon as well. A bit more of a swag ult than anything else, I must say so myself. And uh, Hunters are going to get chased to the Spark Spawn. There goes Jim Boo. He's going to go down. And uh, two minutes off the time bank. That does mean they haven't got much time left if you uh, can do math. Luckily, i got a B in math. So D in English, but B in math. So you can see how my <laughs> brain works. Uh, pretty much the opposite for me. So we're complimentary in that oh, aspect thank, of it. Thank goodness. And it opened up really well for Chengdu. They got an opening kill on the main healer, and but there's now two support ultimates for Hangzhou here, so Chengdu's going to try to use ultimates. Look at this pocket onto Godsby. Oh my goodness, if there's a rank game, you'd be commendations all round for the supports. Godsby gets a coalescence used solely on him. Blade is available though for leave and the coalescence for the hunters, but Elsa gets instantly picked off. Spark have to wait this out, but decide not to as the beat comes through. Elsa falling is going to be rather disastrous. They won't be able to create much space. Leave using the blade, but it's more of a toothpick than anything else as the shag gets laid down, killing him off. And that's the hunters claiming two ticks, but not much else. At least they kill Godsby in the end as Jim Mu used the meteor strike onto the point. Has to get out of it though, as uh, the rest of the Spark are going to corral on his position. He is very low at this point. He gets grabbed as well. Oh, the doof is not working out too well for the Hunters. Adora is going to keep himself alive on the point as 60 seconds now remains for them to break this first point. Super chaotic. Baby is going to try to stay alive. Coalescence coming in as well, trying to buy time for his team to get back into it. Just seem like his fight's going to happen on the point. No I mean, ultimate on the, the table for either side. Well, Godspeed's over there on the Tracer now. He's going to be able to do a little summing. Kamong needs to use these mines. I've got to think that's the only ult that's really going to save them. The Ice Wall is going to block him off. He goes almost indestructible. Manages to get out of the freeze just in time, but Jimmu ends up going down. The Blade is kind of close to being ready, but there's no real other tools for the Hunters to use. They've only got 20 seconds remaining. A Coalescence is going to get blocked off by the wall, and this could just be their run over. Spark have never lost the Hunters, and it looks like... The tail for the Hunters isn't going to end in a victory today. The Blade nowhere near to be ready. The Mines, the Beat, they have to make something work now. OT is coming in. Among lets out the Mines. The Blade is good. Can't get quite get the last dash on the Coalescence. And he ends up getting taken down by it. It's surely all over now as Jimmu ends up taking out IDK. But manages to kick up Sashin as well. <laughs> this could just be it, but the long range pin from Gooshway. Another OT take potentially as Gorsby ends up falling as well. Uh, that's, a, that's a keyboard breaking kind of pin right there. Chengdu is able to finally pick up the first point. They have 251 on the clock. If they get it on first cap, then we're gonna be tied up with about two minutes of the bank. Only Primal Rage and a Coalescence ready for Chengdu going through. On the other side of things, we're going to have a blizzard and a shatter. A lot of space controlling ultimates for the Hangzhou Spark. How do they engage? There you go, that's how they engage. There's the slam on top of the side. Oh, Gooshway. Got to be careful, he's got that shatter. Coalescence coming out. Blizzard 2. Adora's clearing everybody off the point. Elsa falls once again. There's the big freeze into the double, onto the ball. He can't do anything. Among ends up going down. Jinmu. Well, he's using him here. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> well, we'll see. Oh, he got the boot. Oh, my goodness. That's some free ult charge for the Lucio right there. Jim Moon.
sending himself off the map, but the boop in the end end up taking him out. Now the Hunters changing up their comp. Yeah, they have to. Kree and the May. Yeah, but that means there's a whole lot of single digits in the ultimate charge for the side of the Chengdu Hunters. Meanwhile, Hangzhou's tanks have still held on to theirs. Really good control of the economy just using the Blizzard to win that fight. Oh. And that's all you need on the defense. You just need one kill set up for the flight Oh, shatter. they don't. Oh, no! Wait! What? Adora, what are you doing? That would have been a sick shatter! Graviton Surge is still pretty good, though, and Gushui will earn himself another one if he's uh, so inclined to. Does get frozen up, so Adora takes the kills. You know, teamwork and all that. <laughs> Hunters do end up getting completely wiped as Spark use a couple of tankers, but they still got another shot coming online rather quick. I think Adora knows that that Blizzard was probably play of the game so far, and he's just not. Yeah, gonna he's give like, it up. nope, <laughs> not gonna give it up. Oh, we still have Coalescence to use in this, and you know, Shatter is uh, pretty much right back to where it was. 85% for Kuchwe and a Shatter again. That's unfair. It was the plan all along. We'll say. 60 seconds remains though. They gotta be careful. Almost uh, a minimum of a draw if they're not careful. Hunters still need to cap, of course. Uh oh. Now Gushwe has the shatter. Adora is in the front line as well. Beat's gonna do a whole bunch, but that shatter sending a lot of people down to their knees. And oh no, couldn't even get the immortality to save his life. Baby will end up taking down two, and I think this is just gonna be it. Hunters, I'm not sure they can actually win this game now. 30 seconds remaining, and the stalls will be. Just a, a godsend for Spark at this point on the defense. 25 seconds remain, zero tick for the Hunters. They have the Lucio to get back in time and they've got a couple of ults, but they just need someone to touch. It's the last gas, but you'd imagine they try to set up up top here and get KO to go through the amplification matrix, but Hangzhou with these great defensive ultimates, they've got Dead Eye, they can just kind of use it to lock it down. And then if that fails, he can still just blizzard the points. Chengdu, last gas. High noon, ward off, Blizzard comes out, Jimmu dead, OT is gonna be here, but so are the kills, double flashbang, a melee from Godsby, there we go, the spark with a clean 3-0, Hunter's not quite taking the W, and Spark continuing <laughs> their win streak against them. Uh, this was the Godsby we were promised at the beginning of Season 2, and if you don't know who Godsby was supposed to be, you better ask somebody, because that's what you just saw right there. A god-tier damage dealer, and when the meta favors him, you better watch out. The McCree was amazing the entire time. A lot of, uh, you know, a lot of fanning the hammer, but whatever gets the job done, uh, he took his vengeance out. He got so isolated on the very first attack, and then just gets a little bit of the assistance right there from Elsa as he signs his own death certificate. Yeah, that was, uh, I bet I also regretted that. It was like, wait, there's a high noon? Well, I better not all. And he, uh, it was already happening, unfortunately. I think it was, a, it was a situation where they clicked Q at the same time. Surprise, surprise, though. Godsby will be our player of the match. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought it? The Kree was on fire the entire series. Well, we hinted at it. Well, I just might as well make it official here. It's like, he did struggle a little bit there on the opening, but that's just the angles that you have to play on that map. Hunkcho Spark looked like a very clean team. The Hunters looks discombobulated, uncoordinated, uh, several different sort of aideds right there. They got to figure that one out. So far, the meta does not seem to suit them as it is. And the tank line, it, you know, it just it needs a little work. It did not look good. They got isolated a lot of times. And when, you're, when one part of your team falls apart, like your tank line, your support line, or your damage line, you're in trouble. And I think Hangzhou did a really good job of exploiting that today. Yeah, especially when it comes to the double shields. Your tank line has to be on the same page. Otherwise, you're just going to get run over in the neutral. I mean, sometimes, yeah, a little bit hard to actually run up against Gushui. Uh, he's probably the be well, one of the best tanks in the league, hands down. He performed incredibly for Team China in the World Cup last year. And uh, yep. you can see why he is in the league right now. They're doing pretty well for themselves thus far. And the great thing about Hangzhou, if you're looking forward, if you're a big Spark fan, I know a lot of people have the skins and the jerseys. I have a Hex Spark jersey in my closet right now because it's pink and it's beautiful. But the nice thing is they've got a lot, really deep bench too. So in this Hero Pool meta and in the, the year that we're in for Overwatch League, like Godsby didn't even play last week because they were just running Reaper and Sombra. And Bazzi's a really good Sombra. Like the, the depth that this team has didn't really get to shine in Season 2 of Overwatch League because we just kind of had a different format and everyone played the exact same thing for three stages but now that it's going to change every week they're in a good spot here and they, you know it starts with beating the teams in your division the teams you're up against and looks good for them still undefeated against the hunters 
Yeah, they're feeling pretty good with themselves. A clean 3-0 against the Hunters. We've got the Titans, though, coming up against the charge in just a moment, guys. Do not go anywhere. We'll be right back for a quick break. <laughs> 